The world's first rocket powered by biofuel has been launched in the United States. It's called Stardust One, and it successfully flew a mile into the air before parachuting back to Earth. Jane O'Brien reports. Making space history in the state of Maine, Stardust One becomes the first commercial launch of a rocket with a fuel derived from a secret substance found on farms. This is awesome. I'm so excited. This is fantastic. All right. Sasha Derry is the inventor of the biofuel and head of Blue Shift, which built the rocket. But it's been a long road to success. Stardust made its historic debut on a runway for heavy bombers at the disused Loring Air Force Base in the far north near the border with Canada. Compared to other commercial rockets that now ferry astronauts to the space station, Stardust One is very small but cheap to fly. That makes space accessible to many more people. This launch carried experiments from a college and a business that wants to test an alloy for vibration. It will eventually launch satellites into space. Right now, there are freight trains to space like SpaceX and ULA. There are medium-sized companies and rockets that are launching, I would call them buses to space with uh, medium-sized payloads. But we want to be the Uber to space. But anyone doubting Maine's ability to establish itself as a key player in the increasingly diverse space industry should look at the history books. During the Cold War with Russia, this windswept winter wilderness was America's front line of defense. The B-52 bombers that constantly patrolled the skies were maintained inside this massive hangar. The base closed in 1994, but the infrastructure is still here, just waiting to play a new role. Hello! Maine has other bases it can use and some 50 companies already working in the aerospace industry. It's hoped that Blue Shift's success will boost plans for a new spaceport complex. Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Maine.